Oh, check it out, man. Check the state of that big shield and that, man. <laughs> you mad rocket. What are you doing knocking about with a big shield for? Shut up or I'll put this shield in and come out there and kick your arses. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Bring on, big man. Bring on. <laughs> For a horse. Gaff, you fat wanker. Are you rubbish? <laughs> now remember, it's Timmy's it's school all trip. Right. And... Now off you go. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> It's never too early for a fusilier. <laughs> Peace! Peace, I can't... <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. I'm Gary. Oh, pea picker, eh? <laughs> I was smashing. <laughs> You're gonna fall. No, I'm on me. Hey, you. No, I'm on me. Hey, you. No, I'm on me. See? <laughs> All right, doll. Leave me alone. Must have the paint off then. <laughs> Any biscuits? Sorry, son. Biscuits there. There's for gamers. Tea, coffee, and bongo. And biscuits are all for gamers. These one then. Biscuits are for gamers only. I'm gaming. Can we change you a pound? Are you sure you're gaming? Look, wrap this pish, will you? Give us a biscuit. <laughs> There's a change. There's a basket. <laughs> Doctor Ben, I'll be requiring a repeat prescription. Slugs. <sighs> Give me the creeps. I buy slugs. Looking to put a little bit of music back into your life. I'm Bob, by the way. I'm Alan. <laughs> I'm Jack. <clears throat> and I was uh, looking for a stereo. Well, Jackie boy, if it's music you are after. It is music you shall have, the Jack stuff. We've got some cracking big CD multi changers, wacky Jackie. Not to mention a pile of the new mini disc machines, Jackie the Wacky Backy Stone Boy. So, whatever you're after, <laughs> Backy on the bike. We're here to help you, Helen Baxendale. At your service, Baxter's Soup. Whatever you fancy, Super Pooper Scooper. 
Well, I was looking at this one here. <laughs> Good choice, jumping Jack Flash. It's a gas, gas, gas. Top choosing, I'd rather Jack than Fleetwood Mac. Right, right. See this, Ant? I mean, what's the base output in that? You see, I was looking for something in the sort of 30 decibel range. And what about the subwoofers? I mean, how many megahertz can they handle? I'll tell you what else I'm looking for. Surround sound. I want that kind of 4x2 set up. I you know that's exactly what I'm looking for. And what about home cinema? I mean, can I really get that THX quality? And what about the tweeters? I mean, do they really distort in the super high bandwidth? Digital radio. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, is this fully compatible or is it purely analog? Hello there, Bill. Looking to put a little bit of music back into your life. I'm Bob, by the way. I'm Al. You remember listening? Well, the heebie-jeebies <laughs> got me, and there's nothing you can do. You drink a bottle and a half of white and Mackay. And you'll get the heebie-jeebies too. <laughs> oh, but how do you overcome them? And how do you feel brand new? Well, you lay flat on your back. In a pool of sweat. And, and pray, pray that you don't fall through. I'm talking skittles. <laughs> and pray that you don't fall through. I'm up for China and pray that you don't follow I'll tell you what, boys, Big Jock didn't think he was going to make it there. I smell this wallet gets bigger and fatter and heavier every day. Now, come on up, Percy. Give you a wee tip now. Come on. No, you're right, Jock. Nonsense, nonsense. Listen, your wife told me what you earned on wages, and let me tell you, my wee Yorkshire terrier gets more than that in crunches. Now, come on and give me a sweet mama. Fifty quid, Percy. I've always liked you. You're a good man, but I could buy and sell you. Come on now. <laughs> I'll just put it in this bin now, boys, eh? We've been entertainment for us. We, Percy, raking through the bin for Big Jock's 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> All eyes on the Percy now, boys. Come on now, Percy the bin raker. Off you go, Percy. In amongst it, raking that bin, Percy, boy. <laughs> That's right, Percy. <laughs> well done, Percy, boy. Now, I know you're all salivating at the prospect of Big Jock doing a Bob Geld up here, and I know you're all proud passes, boys. So what Big Jock's going to do is, he's going to put 50 quid on the bar, then Big Jock's going to turn round, cover his pork pies, and then we'll figure out who the biggest gadget this week is. OK? Here we go. Now, up you come and get your 50 quid, boys. <laughs> You again, Percy, hard in all the headlines, boys. I was not joking, I was returning this 50 quid. Nonsense, stingy boy, you're a first class jig, and I'll credit to you, Percy boy. Hop up to that seat now, come on, hop up there, take a bow, Percy the Jakey. Absolutely marvellous. Come on now, give us a speech now, tell us what it's like to have no shame. Come on now, Percy the Jakey. Speech, 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 speech. Come on now. You're still in the fags, aye? Mm -hmm. You've got to have some pleasure of being here. Management stay in spot checks, but you'll be for the high jump, boy. Pish. Mitchell. <laughs> Cigarette. Out now. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Back to work, Perry. I've always hated that bastard. Aye. Ladies and gentlemen, the main area of concern appears to be the cranial cavity. The first bullet entered here, punching through the interstitial tissue, <laughs> effectively liquefying the temporal lobe. <laughs> <clears throat> the second bullet punched through the clavicle <laughs> and ended up in his tummy. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, how'd you go in with that big redhead? Oh, please. Another night, drinky, drinky. Hmm? Another, 
Gotta go. Frosty. Okay. <laughs> Champagne. Bar, bar, bar. Jackpot. Phone number. <laughs> the old roulette ball. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Boom. Red 27. <laughs> oh, my number's up. <laughs> <laughs> Jack is Blackjack. <laughs> it's a rollover! <laughs> 16 Do you know what? You bloody old change me. Money, 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 money. Houses, motors, boats and horses. Houses, boats, money, money, money. Money, money. <laughs> so, all done then at £50,000. So, you'd like to sign the register? Now, our next lot this morning, ladies and gentlemen, is this fine Indian love spoon, hand carved by the Sioux tribe, dated 1864. Start the bidding at £10,000. Am I bid 10000 <laughs> Lady in the tweed jacket, thank you. <laughs> £15,000. £15,000. Gentleman with the pipe. I'm looking for 20, 20,000 pounds. Thank you, madam. 25,000 pounds. 25,000? 25, anyone? 25,000 oh. pounds. I'm sorry? We're dead. Yes, well, we're only accepting serious bids, sir. We are serious. I don't believe you are, sirs. Aye, we are. No, you're not. I will. No, you're not. Aye, we are. We're into spoons. We are spoons. Yeah. Yes, quite. Twenty-five thousand pounds. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-five. Anyone? Sold to the gentleman wearing kappa. Quality. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Twenty-five grand for a spoon. Are you off your nut? It's a gobble. <laughs> no, I'm fine for pills. No, I'm smashing thanks. Excuse me, I require some change. Cheerio. Tens or twenties, love. Oh, no, no, I want to change silver for notes. I just won twenty pound in that machine there. To be honest, I was barely concentrating. It was all whole nudge, tingling, and the next thing I knew, the jackpot popped out. That's not. And get this, it comes in the back of me getting four numbers up in the lottery last weekend. I never know the minute. That's a spent. Thanks. Oh, my stash. My husband's making the tea tonight. Congratulations again. <laughs> it's funny, I'm no goodbye. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Ben. I'll be requiring a repeat prescription. Pie man, pie. <laughs> yeah, look at that pie. <laughs> How's she your pie? I don't know, man. It, it just does. <laughs> oh, you, your pie. <laughs> Did you just call me a pie there? Pie. <laughs> oh, my pie. Go no, you just stop. <laughs> you prick. Hey, you're a pie. Eat it. Imagine not even knowing you're a pie, man. <laughs> hey! Hey! You're a pie! Right! <laughs> right. What's this about? I can account for the three missing men. What? I can account for the three missing men. The three missing men? Yes. The Strathclyde inquiries. I know where they are. How would you know about that? Because I killed them. And you expect me to believe this? Well, you'll have details that only I could know. That's right. 
Go on. The first man, April 12th, you only found a shoe and a necktie. He's waited down at the bottom of Loch Katrin. The second man, August 16th, you found a wedding ring. I left that there for you. He's buried in the woods behind the Kerivore estate. And the third man, the September man, he was still alive until 12 o'clock today. I strangled and dismembered him. Do you still not believe me? Uh, uh, well, it's, 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 not, it's not a matter of uh, I, I believe in you. It's, um, we have to corroborate. Um... What's left of the September man is in this bag. Do you want to see him? No, look. Wait a minute there now. Just take it easy. Remember this day, officer. The 15th. Your birthday! <laughs> Still looking for two cards for Lindsay. <laughs> hey, boys. Mine, I told you about that elephant that I'd adopted when the zoo started up its new scheme. <laughs> I went to see it last weekend. It was beautiful. I never realised that an animal so big could be so gentle. <laughs> I killed it, boys. Help my elephant! Oh, oh, not another one, Fiona Hen. You'd left me and the elephant on our own for a wee while so we could get to know each other better. So we decided to have a wee game of frisbee. <laughs> I threw the frisbee to the elephant. The elephant caught it in its trunk. It was a precious moment. But then I got overexcited, boys. I did and I, I slipped on a, a big mound of animal choppies. <laughs> that must have distracted the elephant. Because instead of catching the frisbee in its trunk, it swallowed the frisbee and it stuck in its throat. <laughs> I've seen some tragic sights in my time. <laughs> An elephant choking to death and a frisbee must make the top 20. <laughs> Dumbo. He took his time going down. You would not believe the sound a trunk makes when it wheezes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget it. But I'm just going to try and put it in my mind. I've got a new video to watch tonight. Cheer me up. It's one I've never seen before. It's called Schindler's List. Tell me about it tomorrow, boys. Hello there, young fellas. Now, my name's Callum, and I've got £5,000 in my back bin here, and I know hee-haw about computers. <laughs> but I do know that I want the best. Now, can you lads help me out? <laughs> yes, uh, certainly, sir. Aye, you wish. <laughs> uh, Vasily, observe. You see, when I place the disease gene in my new culture, the disease gene is not killed, but completely purified, eh? <laughs> Outstanding work, Dimitri. <laughs> I cannot believe the glory has finally fallen to you. I have wasted years pursuing the single chromosome solution. I was wrong. Do not despair, Vasily. This is not for the glorification of self, but for the glorification of many. Yes, Vasily, I have discovered it, but it is the world who will benefit. Milk, lemonade, chocolate, <laughs> milk, lemonade, chocolate, milk, lemonade, chocolate, milk, lemonade, chocolate. I'm the big man, and I'm here to tell you about the big man's claim service. 
Willie here is about to have a nasty accident. <laughs> tut, tut, tut. But Willie will get his money. Oh, yes. Because the big man deals with all manner of claims. Very broken limbs and electrical accidents right up to complete disembowelment. Most horrendous accidents happen right here in the workplace. <laughs> so please, sign up now. Especially if your name's Jim Toner for Toll Cross. Because I'm coming to your work tonight, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Big man's claims you have an accident. I'll get your money. Now, we're aware that you've had a bit of an ordeal, Mr Wilson, but if you uh, could just point out for us the person who assaulted you, robbed you and touched your premises. Thank you. <laughs> it's definitely this one here. Step forward, please. <laughs> yeah, the gangs pretty much ran the streets back then. South Central, Watts, Compton, Bloods and Crips fighting for control of the hood. <laughs> Crack was king. Everybody was sucking on the glass dick. Yeah, they were pretty bad times. It was a war zone, really. The Cold Bridge Young team were a wee bit like that, you know? <laughs> Selling pirate videos up at the market there, you know? Always hanging about the chippy, but no buying anything, you know? Out their skulls on the loony juice, you know? Bad man's ginger, cheeky water, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Commotion lotion. <laughs> uh, no glass dicks, but. <laughs> All right, it's yous. Uh, well, who else would it be? <laughs> Come on, Jack boy, show him. Here, Winston, wait till you see this. Your eyes will be popping out your head. Uh, I don't like, you know, I don't like showing off, Victor, you know. I don't like rubbing anybody's nose in it. But here, anyway, have a squatch at this. <laughs> right, feast your beadies on that. Colour TV, 20-inch monitor, flat LCD display with remote control. All mine. How do you like them apples? Wait till you see the picture, Winston. Clear as a bell, eh? Tell them the price, Jack. £149.99, yes. Yeah, so you've got to be good to yourself. <laughs> Is that right? Aye. <laughs> As you know, Mr Jarvis. All right, lads. That's smashing. There you go now. One each. On your way, lads. <laughs> now, this mama jama is a liquid crystal display, DLT, Dobley surroundy sound. <laughs> it's got a built-in plasma trinity tronic woof woofer. It's got a woofer. Well, that's me or the television pricks of the day, isn't it? <laughs> You're off your head. Look at the size of that thing. That's far too big. That's a waste of money. Oh, your arse. This is a five grand telly, and I'm getting it for two. That's what you want nowadays, home cinema. You see, I had to put the 20-inch television into the bedroom there. That's just a, a secondary viewing facility, if you like. Ah, it's like a bloody picture hall. You'll need to get a wee skank selling ice cream. Well, you can't take it away, you can you? I mean, there's no pockets and shrouds, and have I wanted one of these? You do know that. Wait a minute, are you telling me that's a five grand telly and you're getting it for two? That's correct. You see, this now, to retail in the high street, would cost you £5,000. But I got it for two. Old Tam's nephew, Martin. He got me a deal on it. Oh, aye. Is that him that works at Crazy Joe's Hi-Fi Audio and Visual Emporium? <laughs> the very same. Now, these tellies are from Japan, right? But they're made in Azerbaijan. Martin gets them sent direct for there. Dirt cheap and all. Oh, you fly bastard. Uh. <clears throat> Sounds ropey. Ah, oh, give me peace. This television is exactly the same as if it rolled off the assembly line in Nippon. Why is it it says Bulaki on it? That's Azerbaijanese for Sony. <laughs> right, get it on, let's see the picture. Right. Oh, right. Settle down now. Budge up. 
Freedom! Refugees! Hello there, mate. How are you? Don't get the tea on, eh? <laughs> See you on the outside, lads. Good luck, son. Cheers, friend. And that's almost all we have time for from the newsroom tonight. Thanks to Rab McGlinchey for interpreting for the Neds. Shout us up a lagger, Willie. I'll see you down the road five minutes, mate. And before we go, just time for a quick look at tomorrow's headlines. The Guardian leads with the Cabinet fallout. The Times concentrates on the crisis with the Euro and the Independent goes with the latest tribulations inside the White House. And turning to the Morris Scuddies, right... The sport, it goes for big jugs. Unsurprisingly, it's plumping for a right big pair of diddies on the front and in the middle. <laughs> Reader's wife, it leads away with a wee hand called Lucy for Falkirk. And as for wobbly gobblers... <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't tell you it's in that, man. Get your details at your news agents. Man, you are beautiful. Good night. Get dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bain, with the choir and a repeat prescription. <laughs>